Welcome to April's Leaco Challenge. Today's problem is remove all adjacent duplicates in a string 2. Given a string s, a k duplicate removal consists of choosing k adjacent and equal letters from s and removing them, causing the left and right side of the deleted substring to concatenate together. We repeatedly make k duplicate removals on s until we no longer can. Return the final string after all such duplicate removals have been made. It is guaranteed that the answer is unique. So we can look at this example here. We have a k of 3. We can remove every adjacent letter of number of 3. So here we can see we can remove e, e. We can also remove c, c, c. Uh, and you would think that's it. But we have to first delete the e's and c's and get this string. And then go through it again to remove all the b's and then the d's. Um, so that kind of gives us a thought that maybe we need to have some sort of loop that runs until we no longer can. Uh, but they give you a few hints here that helps us make it a lot easier. Use a stack to store the characters, and when there are k of the same characters, delete them. So that's going to allow us to do this all in one pass. What that means is we'll add to our stack uh, the number of characters. When we find that we have k number of the same characters, we are going to pop them off the stack. But to make this more efficient, we're going to use a pair to store the value and the count of each character. So here with this example, we could say that we are going to create like a tuple, or not a tuple, not because those are immutable. We're going to create a list starting with D and the number of times it appears. Then we'll keep adding it here to a list like E1. Uh, and when we see that the number is the same as the last one, we'll just update this number here, like 2, 3. And every time we... Um, update a character, we're going to check to see if this character is a, a k, k or not. Like, see, we see that this is going to equal k right now. So we'll just pop this off. We'll say, oh, well, that's going to be popped off. And then we'll add d. And you can see that d is going to make this into a 2. Uh, and continue this process on. And doing this is going to allow us to do this all in just one pass here. Um, we don't have to continually go through our, our string to check if we can pop off more, more adjacent strings. Okay, so let's start by creating a stack. And recall that I can't use a tuple because I want to update that number here and tuples are immutable. So I'm going to create a list with the character and the number of times it appears. I'll say count. So what we'll do is say for character in S. First thing we want to check to see is, well, if there's a stack at all and the stack minus one, the character, if it equals the character that we have right now, we want to update the number of the count by one. Now, otherwise, we're going to append to the stack a list of both the character and starts off with one here, like this. Now, the big trick here is to make sure we check, well, if stack and stack negative one, one, if this equals k, then we're going to pop it off. Now, once we have the stack, Everything that remains here, we just want to return as if it was the original string. But to do that, since we have this in, in characters and numbers, what we'll do is say, uh, we'll do for character and number times it appears in stack. We'll just multiply the character by the number of times it appears, like this. And this is going to give us the string that remains. So let's see if this works. Okay, list index out of range. So what did I do? It's my fault. It should be negative one. Okay, so that uh, it's hard to say if it's working right now because that that test case isn't very good. But yes, it does. Accepted. So this is O of n time, uh, but we do use O of n space for the stack. I don't think that's very. I don't think that's avoidable. Um, yeah, I. I think this is the optimal answer. There may be some um, other variations where you can use like built-in functions using the string method, using replace and stuff. Uh, but this seems to work fine. I think this is the one they're going for. Um, so yeah, I think we'll end it here. Okay, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.